I'm Cadet Colonel Patrick Girl, and I'm the group commander here at the NJ 2000 section. In this video, we got a glimpse inside what we do here at Old Bridge High School. Hello, I'm Cadet Captain Taylor Tavares, and I'm the Director of Logistics. This is where we hold all the parts and pieces of the uniform. On this side, we have the female uniform skirts, pants, shirts, service coats, and we also have the Honor Guard uniforms. On the opposite side, we have the male uniforms, pants, shirts, windbreakers, service coats, and we also have the Honor Guard raincoats. <laughs> Over here, we have dress shoes and white v-necks that we hand out. To keep organized, we have multiple filing cabinets. In this one, we have all the hand receipts, and they are organized by graduation year. And in this filing cabinet, we have socks, belt buckles, and belts, ties, tie tabs, and ribbon racks. Lastly, over here, we have ribbons, ranks, and extra cords, and Oakley clusters. Hi, I'm Cadet Captain Negrange Patel, Director of the Building Ceremonies, the NJ 2002nd Age ROTC. I'm going to show you the security we have to get to the armory. First thing is key number seven. The only uh, people who have these keys is the school janitors and both of our instructors, Lieutenant Colonel Doolittle and Chief Master Arthur Pitzer. The only way to get him is to ask him for it. Next we have what we call here the cage. This is where we keep ABUs and store different items. In the next door we have to be able to get in. The only way to get in is if you have our instructor's keys. Those are the only people who have keys to get into this is both of our instructors. After that you get in here. Next you come in then you got the actual armory itself which is closed by a padlock. Only certain cadets are authorized to be able to get in here. The list is posted right here. The only cadets who are authorized this year to get in here is the Corps Commander, Cadet Colonel Patrick Earl, because he was actually the Director of Drill before me. Our current Command Chief, who is the Command Staff Member in Charge of Drill and Ceremonies, Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Scott Kowalski, who was also last year's uh, Drill and CO. Then you got me, the Director, my Superintendent, Cadet Senior Master Sergeant Brianna Pereira, and CO, uh, Cadet Technical Sergeant AJ Vinets, and the Exhibition Commander, and the Exhibition Vice Commander. Now we just open up this padlock with this key right here. This is a, the key to open up the padlock is com kept completely separate and is locked away in, in our instructor's desk. They both have one and the only way to get it is to ask them for it. So if someone gets the keys to get in here, they necessarily can't get in here because they can't get this key. After that, open it up. Now you're inside the armory. That's how we keep security on this. That's how we keep the rifles protected. That's how we keep accountability for them. I'm going to quickly show you how we keep inventory of our rifles. So right now we have all M1s out right now because I'm currently doing maintenance on them. Each one has been marked. Since the M1s don't come with an after serial number, we engrave each one with the serial number like this, the property of Overch High School, and then we mark them NJ2002-01 through 03. Now what we do is to keep track of them is follow me over here. Right here we have multiple slots. Each, each slot is assigned a different number because over the years rifles break, stocks break, so your numbers change. So in slot brown one, which is all the way over here, you're going to have rifle NG2008, which is currently out here. Right now there are two rifles that are actually out, which we have in the inventory system, which is brown rifle 17 and 20, which is currently at an honor guard event. Then we have our 1903s. Same process, similar, similar setup. On the back, each slot is assigned to an actual serial number because on these rifles, as you can see, they have a serial number on them. So we assign each serial number a slot. They also, on the bottom side, we engraved property of U.S. Air Force because the old insignia wore out. As you're seeing logistics and many of our other departments have access to wings. When they need to input or retrieve data from the program, they have to ask our instructors to log into wings using one of our core computers. The footage you are viewing is from the first competition we attended this year at Jackson Memorial High School. This school year we have competed in four different competitions and we have placed in 11 various events ranging from athletics to academics.
Participating in school events like pep rallies was one of our unit goals. Our exhibition team was in two pep rallies where they showed off their newest routine, which was showcased by Tech Sergeant A.J. Vinetz's skill with the rifle. Here you are seeing Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Alyssa Nosside run an athletics workout. Athletics runs weekly workouts for cadets attending our cadet leadership course over the summer. Community service is a huge part of what we stand for. We run and assist in many different community service events throughout the year. One of our main events is the can drive. For the past 13 years, we have been running our annual can drive. This is an in-house event where we have cadets in our corps collect canned food and non-perishable food items, which we then donate to food bank of our choice. This year, we helped out the Middlesex County Food Bank and we collected a whopping 10,000 pounds of food, which helps feed people for about two weeks. Gifts from Home is another major community service event that we run. Gifts from Home is a district-wide event where our Corps collects in conjunction with the Freedom Alliance to send care packages to men and women overseas. The whole school district gets involved in collecting items like toiletries, clothes, and snack foods. Not only do we help in collecting the items, they also help make the care packages. We invite the elementary school children to help out at our parking party. This year, we shipped about 300 care packages to our troops overseas. Every marking period, we hold a commander's call in our auditorium. Cadets are recognized for their outstanding achievements during that quarter. Cadets receive a myriad of different ribbons, for example, the good conduct, attendance, dress and appearance, and longevity ribbons. And sometimes, special ribbons like the service ribbon and the health and wellness ribbon are awarded. Our instructors are also awarded the outstanding cadet of the marking period to one first-year cadet and one returning cadet. Everyone who is nominated gets a certificate, but only two cadets get the ribbon. Freshman mentoring is a huge part of the Corps. The director went to every flight and reviewed the staff positions the Corps has to offer. The director also assigned the first year cadets and upperclassmen who helped them figure out the ins and outs of the program. Mm -hmm. 